Hello, 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 everyone. Pamela Busby here talking about victim mentality today. So I just want to share it to my group. Just a minute here. There we go. And my group for those of you that know uh, or don't know is emotional freedom with frequency. Let's see, oh, that's one of them anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me go back here, here I am. And it doesn't work out quite so well this way because I don't see all the comments, but we'll just have to make the best of it, I guess. Do, 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 do. Okay, so victim mentality. Let's talk about it for a little bit because, um, oh, let's see how messy my desk is. Oops. <laughs> uh, victim mentality is something our ego works with to keep us safe, to keep us in the same position that we're in a lot of the times, but it also keeps us small and feeling like something is not our fault. Something was out of our control. Any of you who have worked with me at all know that I can usually see BS pretty good. I don't always see it in myself, but that's one of the ways that ego works with us, right? We justify why we've made a decision or why we feel a certain way. 2005, I fell. Everybody knows this. Not my greatest day but it was on my path to get me to here. Now, there were people involved. There were circumstances involved. There was my pride involved and humiliation and hi, little girl, um, involved. You're okay. <clears throat> Miss Sweet Caroline. And you know, I still think there's pieces to that time that I haven't fully owned because it still keeps cropping up. Now, there's also a string of events from that time, including three years ago, that I had another fall. It's like, okay, enough already. And the more I work with the authority frequency, the more I, I recognize the bullshit, my own. It's humbling. I'll be honest. It's very humbling. It is um, also very helpful because I can see when I work with it, what it's like and what, how it's been serving me. And by that, I mean, how has it kept me smaller? How has it kept me in place? How has it protected me? That's a huge thing for me, feeling safe. And it's funny because until I was in the relationship that I'm in now, I didn't know that I needed to feel safe. And now I recognize when I don't feel safe or more so uncomfortable. And it's interesting how that's continued to unfold over the years and that trusting, again, that's the ego working with us, isn't it? What are places in particular where you know you're holding victim mentality? 
Can anyone say relationships or finances? What places other than that, or even around finances, are you holding these victim roles, especially relationships and finances? Why don't we start taking that apart? What are different places there where you're holding victim mentality? Um, I'm just, let's see. Hey, Seda. Hey, Lori. Hi, Mary. So yeah, we're talking about victim mentality and recognizing them because we don't. Some of them are obvious, you know, why don't I have more money? Or I never felt loved and therefore, that's a justification, right? This happened to me and as a result, I, I fell and it caused my path to be longer. It um, made me feel bad about myself. Um, what other victim, by not getting close, too close to anyone. Oh, that's a huge one, Lori. That one is one of mine as well. That one is one of mine as well. Um, I know that when I work with friends, um, there's always there this difficult part of when do they pay and when do they not because I can't help but help try to heal anything when I see it and when do I charge when do I not so that's a stickiness so it's better not to have friends and then I don't overstep that bound because not everybody wants to be healed not everybody wants to be told what I see, and I recognize that. What other ways are obvious around relationships and finances that you know? Um, I had one just earlier. It doesn't work for me. How many of you carry that one about money, about programs? about healing solutions. Hey, Peggy. Oh, I'm happy to see you. Um, they don't work for me. Or I don't want it to be in vain. That's one that I've re really run up against recently. Right? Um, I don't want it to be in vain. What if it never happens? That's another one that I've been struggling with lately. Victim mentality, as if it's out of our control. You know, and it's funny because I was channeling my higher self and how can I adjust something? And my higher self said, um, it's simple, apply the rules you know mind over matter a hundred times a hundred times tracy says i've tried everything and nothing works is one i is one i come up against in people absolutely and why it's because they think nothing is going to work instead of turning it around and saying how can i get it to work for me or one that spirit had said to me then keep doing it until it does work. That was a huge shift for me, not that long ago. Keep doing it until it does work. And that's true for a lot of healing modalities too. A lot of times it's this because our intention carries it, right? Now I have a frequency workshop tomorrow for victim mentality. It's an hour and a half long. It's like 44 bucks. It's not expensive, but it's on victim mentality and it's to help you notice and apply your own authority and understanding it more clearly. So the frequencies that I'm working with are, um, I know my own authority and clarity because 
you can't fix what you don't know is wrong. And sometimes you don't even need to know what it is. If it's a decision that you have made, a lot of times it'll come up to be examined and gotten rid of. But if it's not something that you need to know about, frequency clears it out for you. I, I don't know, did you guys know that? I don't know if I've shared that, that specifically in the past. It's kind of like affirmations, right? You can say, I am wealthy, Till you're blue in the face and what will come up are the things in you that say no you're not no you're not with frequency it works a little bit differently because we're working from the top down okay so when we hold the frequency and this is what i do i literally put it in your bioenergetic field i connect everyone to it that's in the group to their own, not to the group, but to their own. And then I disconnect them at the end. What it does, it actually works in your vibrational field to adjust what it can. And when it starts to work and there's an entanglement that you need to be aware of to make a different decision, it'll come up. So for instance, yesterday morning when I was doing the work, um, a lot of imagery came up, a lot of visions, a lot of incidents came up where I was still playing the victim. I don't mean still, but it, um, where I was that I didn't recognize, which is embarrassing as hell, but you know what? I'm willing to move past that. It's not fun to be embarrassed on live video but I'm doing it because, or allowing it to be shared because I don't want you to judge yourself. When it comes up, recognize it for what it is. And then the clarity frequency right behind it allows you to see it for what it was and who you are. Okay. The frequency will work through it. And for me, four or five instances actually came through right in a row. I visual, I got the visuals. I got the clarity and understanding, felt it release. And then the next one came up and the same thing happened. I became aware of it, what it was, the clarity with the new understanding, and then it dissolved and then it moved on to the next piece. This is the top down method, okay? This is where you align with the frequencies of clarity and I know my own authority. It helps bring that up, okay? The bottom up method would be searching for things as things come up asking questions, and it's usually one after another, two. But that's the bottom up method. Now, the way Spirit explained it to me, and they're both, they're both handy and necessary, I'll be honest. Um, the, what Spirit explained to me is, sometimes you don't need to clear the whole parking lot to get to the roadway. Sometimes you only need to clear the path to get to where you're going. And yet many of us on the path, <laughs> or on our journeys think we have to clear everything. Not so. We only need to clear the stuff that's in the way of where we want to go. There's a big distin distinction there, isn't there? So I'm just gonna look at the, the messages. Um, hey, Ariana, good to see you. So yeah, I think it's an important understanding now, for any of you who have ever watched my replays, you know that these frequencies are as potent on the replay as they are on the live. So what I'm suggesting for the people who are signing up for tomorrow's $44 workshop around victim mentality is to watch it four times. Let it work through your system four times.
You can do it every day for four days. You can do it every other day. See how you mentally and physically feel after them to know when to do the next one. They are potent. They're a little bit hard on the ego, but they're fabulous for the heart. The clarity and the releasing of the lower energies that we're talking about here. These, my friends, are the things that are holding you back. These are the pieces that want to keep you in the same place you were yesterday and 15 years ago. Rightly so, right? Why is that? Because of safety. Our ego wants to feel safe. Right, Lori. Right. Like realizing how mom was so sick and that's why I was treated the way I was. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very different realization, isn't it, from that perspective? I love your mom so much. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're able to, too, Ariana. Yeah. Actually, I can see her now. Um, just the memory. Um, and the rainbow that her and I, the ceramic rainbow, do you remember when she was um, painting ceramics? Yeah. Yeah, these are important understandings. How we think and take things on versus when we see it from the victim mentality state, we see it through such different eyes. And the clarity helps us to shift that thinking, to see it for what it was, rather than the how the mind had decided, or the, even the child version, or the unaware version. Okay. Hey, Hugh. Um, I can, but not at the moment. Um, let me touch base with you after this and um, we'll see what we can work out for timing. Good to see you. So yeah, victim mentality is huge. We don't want to keep these hidden. We don't want to let the ego get away with this and keep us to where we were when we want to grow, we want to evolve, we want to go into that 5D space that we can see so differently, right? We want to be able to look at these more clearly, more mm, judgment free. Because what they're really doing is holding us into a certain idea or identity that isn't true. It's just based on that moment in time decision or understanding. And like with all things, you can change any of them. And when they say, mind over matter. What that really means is any thought or idea is a form of energy. That's matter. It's turned into a certain form. But your mind, you are a universal mind, you are consciousness, and you affect matter. Hey, Kim. mind over matter. But what happens in the victim mentality is the matter tends to rule the mind. But we've got to got to remember who we are. And this is part of the reason why this frequency of I know my own authority or I own my own authority is so powerful. Because we don't always recognize where the mind or the, the matter, I should say, has taken over instead of the mind over matter. 
sometimes when I'm working with energy, it can be stubborn. And I know I sound weird when I say this, but I actually say to it, you will bend to my will. Thy will be done. Interesting, isn't it? Thy will be done. Energy responds to us as consciousness, but it won't when it thinks it's in charge. And the reason why it thinks that it's in charge is because you have given it that authority. You have given it that power. You have given it that control. That idea. Somewhere along the line, that definition has been created. But it's a form of energy. And it's malleable, just like Plato. I'm just going to make a note of you. Mary says, I used to have a victim mentality until I faced the facts that it was my own actions that got me there. Now I'm working on releasing the guilt. Absolutely. Absolutely, Mary. And the thing is, um, we don't realize a lot of times where the victim mentality is actually hiding because our ego doesn't want us to see it. So we may have one big thing that's been released and there may be five other things hidden. <laughs> and a lot of times that's why we don't totally let go. But I'm so glad that you understand the idea and the concept of, of victim mentality, Mary, because now you know to look. And the idea that you own the actions should help with the judgment. But yeah, I can see why there, there'd still be guilt there depending on what the, the storyline is. And that happens for all of us, right? The stories and the justifications that we told ourselves to put us in that place. Mind over matter. You are consciousness. Thoughts, ideas, beliefs are matter that can be changed. Okay. Okay, so just a reminder, for those of you that aren't able to um, join me live tomorrow for the workshop, um, the replays are as potent. And I say that not with a grain of salt. That's a knowing that I have because I am specifically embedding the frequencies in it so that every time you watch the replay of the workshop, it will dig deeper and continue to release what's still in there. My suggestion again is to watch it four times. You can watch it four days in a row. You can watch it every other day four times. You can watch it once a week and let it play out up to you. Okay. The cost is $44 and you don't have to be there live, but if you choose to be there live, it will be from noon to 1.30 tomorrow, Eastern time. Most of the time will be set directly in the vibration. Again, what happens is I connect you to the vibration, or I actually put it in your bioenergetic field. And then I disconnect it from you um, at the end. And we're using two frequencies in particular. I feel like spirit may give a third one, a third suggestion. Um, but we'll see. But right now it's I own my own authority um, and clarity. Okay. There may be some self-love and compassion in there too, I suspect. And that'll help, like Mary was saying, with, the, with the, um, the judgment and the guilt around it so that it can help clear up that too. Um, that may go in there as well. Actually, I'll make a note of that. Um, self-love, compassion. Okay. because it can be a, um, a wake-up call when you see 
did I really do that? And you feel the when you feel the ownership of it, it changes things, but it also messes up here for a little bit. That's why I'm using the clarity frequency too, so that it can help unweed and untangle the different ideas that you had about it. Okay. Okay. Again, um, the link for it is on my page or in my group, um, Emotional Freedom with Frequency. If you're interested, again, it's only $40, $44, but you can watch it as many times as you want. Um, and as a bonus, anyone who signs up for it now will actually get access to every time I offer that program for free. Um, so it's not something, if I offer it next time, it might be $50 or $75. You're not going to pay for it again. You're just going to be in there automatically. Okay. So that's kind of a, a gift that I'm offering. Anyone who does sign up for it. Um, so it'll be at the $44 cost for now. But for any time that I offer this exact program, um, you'll get in for free. So let me know if you have any questions about it, if you feel it's a good fit for you. Um, register again, it starts tomorrow, which is Wednesday, um, and it runs from noon to 1.30. And then the replays um, are, are in there as well. Okay, with that, I'm going to close up for today, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I hope you found this helpful about where we're carrying it and to let you know that there's help for it. Okay. Bye for now, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.